The Gift of the Magi. Della only had as little as a dollar and sixteen cents in her pocket. Although tomorrow was Christmas, that was the only money she had to buy a gift for her husband, Jim. Even if she tries to sell some unnecessary things to collect money, in the poor young couple's house, there was nothing but things they needed daily. What kind of gift would make Jim happy? I think something expensive and rare would be nice. But there's no way I can get such a thing with this much money. Incidentally, a small mirror hanging on the wall came into her sight. She gazed at herself in the mirror, and had a sudden flash of inspiration. Yes, that's right. I still have this. Della immediately untied her hair, and neatly combed her long brown hair, straightening it out. Della and Jim had two things they could boast about. One was Jim's gold pocket watch, which was handed down since his grandfather's generation. The other was Della's beautiful hair. Della cut off that beautiful hair and exchanged it for money. And then bought the best suited gift for Jim. When it was around seven o'clock, she was done preparing dinner. Della was waiting for Jim's return, holding a paper bag with the gift in it. I wonder what Jim would say upon seeing my short hair. What if he laughs, saying I look like a child? As she was thinking this, she heard Jim walking up the stairs. I am home, Della. Welcome home, Jim. Jim was stunned as soon as he saw Della with the short hair. So, you cut your hair, Della? Yes, that's correct. I cut off my hair myself to exchange it for money. But don't worry, it will soon grow out again. I am sorry, Jim, for doing this without letting you know. I just didn't think you would be this surprised. No, that's not it. Della, look this. Jim took out a small parcel from his bag. The gift from Jim to Della was a comb. This expensive tortoise shell color comb. Decorated with many gems on its side, suited Della's beautiful brown hair very well. The comb that was displayed at the Broadway's show window, that she wanted for so long, was finally in her hands. However, at the same time, she saw why Jim looked disappointed. Yes, Della's hair was too short to use the comb. But even so, she was excited and jumped in delight. Thank you so much, Jim. This is such a great gift. I will surely use this once my hair grows long enough. Oh, hey, Jim. Please see my gift too. I am sure you will also say thank you to me in an embarrassingly loud voice. Della's gift for Jim was a platinum watch chain. Isn't this pretty? I found this after walking all over the town. Hey, give me your pocket watch. I'll attach it to it. Sh, sure. Thank you. I am really glad. But Della, let's keep these gifts in the drawer for some time. These are just too expensive to use right now. Huh? Why is that? 
To be honest, Della, I also sold my pocket watch at a pawn shop to buy you the gift. So it's now impossible to attach this chain to the watch. All right, Della, let's have dinner. Please turn on the oven. The couple has lost their most important two treasures in the house, for the sake of each other. However, it was the most sensible, as well as the wisest decision, than anyone else's in the world. The couple was indeed the real magi.